Hey Thrones fans, this is Adam from the Oklahoma Board Game Community, and today we're bringing you game one of our little short league championship here. We had uh, ten players here, one of them ended up dropping, so nine throughout the round. <clears throat> and we're looking at Targ, Banner of the Lion, on the left, and Greyjoy, Banner of the Rose, on the right. So setups, got that done real quick here. We had a little bit of a fast forward skip. So we got a Jora, a Drogon, a Hound, and an Illyria's Estate, I believe, on the Targ player side. And on Greyjoy, we've gotten a Cortison of the Rose, and two Iron Island Fishmongers. One of the little Arbor Knights and a Rose Road to give you a little bit of a give you a little bit of an extra gold going forward. And let me see. So <clears throat> we have a Calling the Banners opening up on the Targ player's side and a Trading with the Pintoshi opener on our Greyjoy player. Reduce. <laughs> So starting out, uh, two reducers kneel down for Balin to come out at four gold. And we're gonna play Bear in the Maiden Fair, something I don't see very often, and using it on himself. Bear in the Maiden Fair, of course. Pretty interesting card uh, to draw five, I believe, and reorder them. Uh, you can place them back on any order you'd like. Basically, you get to control your next turn. Paying three for the Great Kraken to come out, giving Balin some stealth, and also giving you the ability to either draw a card or gain a power every time you win an unopposed challenge. And wow, then we're seeing two fishing nets come out. That is brutal. Uh, fishing net, of course, preventing you from declaring that card as a defender. Fishing net on the Hound and on Jora. Wow, what an opener. Greyjoy is rolling. Uh, so we start with a reducer on the Lannister side, or Targ side that is. It is the Lannister reducer, so. And using him to reduce and place her Jamie out there. With a dupe for five, very nice. Firing back, making it, uh, making it a nice board state on his end as well. And of course, Fishing Net does just prevent you from using them as defenders. Uh, you still get to attack back into uh, into your other opponent with them. So if you go first, make sure to get them get them used or. And spend another three to put seal of the hand on Jamie. That'll be nice. Jamie does not kneel when declared an attacker in a military challenge. So he'll have both a military and an intrigue challenge if he wants them, plus be able to stand back up again. So we've got a, a military uh, challenge coming with Balon, um, stealthing Jamie, which will really prevent him from opposing this. Balin, of course, you cannot declare, well, you can declare a defender, but defenders with lower strength than him do not contribute their strength into a challenge. Uh, and we see two gold come out there, and we see the hound put to the sword. So the hound dead right off going to the dead pile. Because I did unopposed, I can either draw a card or gain a power. Gonna gain a power for unopposed, gonna gain a power for the Great Kraken, and going to gain a renown. So, going up three all at once and getting the Hound killed. Uh, also, with the Hound killed, we do get that fishing net back in hand. So, the fishing net can come back out on another character next turn. I expect maybe on to Jamie. 
Uh, Intrigue challenge comes in, defends it immediately with Jamie. And Jamie stands up with sealed hand. I'll oppose with the Arbor Knight. I have no reaction to Okay. So we've got a military coming in with Jamie. Of course, he does not heal. And uh, defended with the Arbor Knight and claimed the Arbor Knight. So Jamie gains a renown. Renown only on military. Still valuable renown it is. Like, See an intrigue come through on Jora. It's going to be unopposed, and I'm sure he's wanting to hit that fishing net. He does! He got the fishing net. So we're not seeing it on Jamie next turn. Well, I had not seen this game myself before this, so... We'll get that Renown and the Betrayal token on Jora. Uh, Jora, once you get those three Betrayal tokens, he has to go away. He discards himself. So really, he can only gain two renown without uh, without being discarded. If it was your last renown of the game, meaning you were at 14 and gained the 15th on him as third, I do believe that would cause you to win the game before he would discard. So. Yeah, and then the way they say what they have to do the draft two player is you have eight cards. All right, we've got a second calling the banners uh, on the Tard player's side, and we had a confiscation come out on Greyjoy's side. Confiscation, of course, took that um, seal of the hand off of Sir Jamie. Calling the banners, just getting him four gold for free here. Another three once his marshalling starts. For Road. And a King's Road coming down, immediately being sacrificed to reduce by three and four with the reducer. Uh, oh, and Tyrion. Give him some stealth to answer back a little bit and an extra two gold every time an intrigue challenge is coming out. And then we have Viserys come out, which is excellent to see since we've got another fishing net on Jorah. All right. Um, you know, maybe we wouldn't choose to get rid of that fishing net there just because Jorah is going to leave himself. However, it would free it back up and it would go back to his hand. So I'm going to guess we'll either get rid of that with Viserys or now that the milk is on Jamie, uh, we'll probably get rid of the milk off of Jamie uh, as soon as we can. And Greyjoy, reduce, reduce, and play Theon out there. Theon also stealth, a little bit weaker than Asha, uh, but does does give him the ability to gain a renown when winning an unopposed challenge. So we had Intrigue coming out, stealthing the Courtesan of the Rose, and stealing Elena's informant, putting him her in the discard pile. Elena's informant, once she enters play, she allows you to name a challenge type and do two of them that round. Uh, so a very solid card. Um, I've definitely seen it used well out of this Greyjoy deck. Uh, Shay's a bit unique as far as playing the Banner of the Rose here, but has used it to strong effect in the past. So, so we've got a, a military attack coming in uh, with Jorah, blocked with Theon, and immediately kneeling the dragon to Dracarys down. Uh, Dracarys reduces strength by... Four, I believe, and uh, it is terminal burn, so meaning all, it can right, burn through dupes, etc. Oh. No dupes were out there, but uh, the animal go into the dead pile. But it's a military, and uh, we'll still pass old Jamie. Seems like a good idea. So it is unopposed. Only answer right, the Greyjoy right, player so is going to have here is we're going to have a uh, military uh, stealthing Jamie, uh, getting a unopposed then, power, triggering the Kraken to, to draw a card, and yeah. tossing a renown out there. Claim. Have you got any actions for any? Oh, no actions for claim. Uh, we do claim Viserys, and we do get the milk. All right. Let's swing in for that power challenge. Power. It is unopposed. And right, now we so have a power unopposed. into an unopposed board. React to with it being unopposed and gain a power. And then... So we get unopposed. Yeah. All right. We get a trigger on the Great Kraken to gain a power, and we get one from the house. Ample amounts of gold, so... So three power there. 
All right. Everybody stands up for dominance. They are playing quick. All right, ready? Seven. All right. I'm I don't even off. feel like I need to be talking through all this here. I feel like I don't have the time. All right, so Wildfire comes down uh, for Greyjoy, and Summons comes down for Targ. Obviously, no real claim going on for the Greyjoy player, uh, but we do lose Jora on the Targaryen player's side. That lo lonely, lonely dragon is missing Daenerys, so I'm sure that's what the Summons is for. Dragons, really not much other than the ability to trigger Dracarys without Danny's. Daenerys is key. They've been fighting real hard without her, so obviously not crucial, especially in a Banner of the Lion deck. Probably why I prefer Banner of the Lion over pure Targ fealty. I mean, Targ doesn't have a ton of cards that are loyal. And... You still get them with, with targs. I, I just, I don't know. I don't feel the fealty is really worth it over Banner of the Lion at this time. Too many strong Lannister cards. Just to give everybody an idea of what kind of cards they're going to see here, uh, this is just pre-Wolves of Winter. Uh, so we're actually not going to see any of those cards. It's actually probably why you won't see any Stark in the stream here, or in the videos. Uh, I'm sure we'll see them next tournament, but I think tell them a little bit behind in commentating videos. So hopefully we'll start cranking them out a little bit faster. Marshalling here. Uh, we do spin one to put that fishing net back down. Fishing net goes on to Jamie. Reduce with the fishmonger. And yeah, pay one to play a Salty Navigator. Three. Salty Navigator pretty much just your basic chud, but he does add initiative, uh, which to Greyjoy is great. Greyjoy typically wants to go first. Many of their cards trigger only when going first, though we don't have any of that out there now. Not quite enough for We see a Reducer uh, trigger uh, to play a Reducer. Uh, reducer with one strength, one power. And then a Lannister right. Reducer come out there as well. So one Targ Reducer, one Lannister cool. Reducer. So, I did not manage it, but we did have Greyjoy drop Marjorie as well. Marjorie's solid kneel to bump the strength to somebody else by three. Be nice with Balin here. Hard to get it defended at all. military. Uh, we'll stealth, uh, Drogon, yeah. All right, All right, so Balin comes so in, stealthing Drogon for military. The Kraken to get another one. We're and gonna get one unopposed power. Uh, trigger the Kraken to get another and power, and get a Renown onto Balin himself. No reaction to winning. All right, no reaction to winning. So we see an intrigue challenge come in with the Quartz of the Rose. Two gold awarded to the target player for Tyrion's trigger. And blocking the Tyrion. And we're pumping to five so that we win. So. And we got Danny. That might have been the game. Wow. That was All a good right. choice. You know, I was sitting here thinking, I wonder if he'll go ahead and bump it with Marge to win the Intrigue. He did, and he was rewarded. Oh, not being able to see Danny on the board may seal the game up for Greyjoy here. He's three? No, he's not, any, he's not the plus guy. No, no, he's just one. Or two, sorry. Yeah. So we are. All right, uh, but he will block. We're gonna go ahead and come in military here for and kill Balon. Solid call. And uh, regular claim. Regular claim. Oh, fishmongers, you tried so hard. Right. Balon will die there. And then I'll swing in power challenge. Power challenge. Go through. 
the military of both Jamie and uh, Drogon was able to put Balin to the sword there. Did a quick power challenge uh, with just the little reducer chub. He's more than just that, so I'll intrigue. And got a re uh, well, actually, got the win, got unopposed with the reducer and stole a power. And then quickly remembering that uh, Jamie is more than just a military dynamite. Uh, he does have intrigue as well, so coming in there for an unopposed intrigue challenge. Getting a quick card discard there. So I'm not going to lie, that was, a, that was a big swing. Keeping Targ in the game. Balin off the board, lost a lot of power there. Lost a lot of steam. Not able to put him back out, so. Was a good answer to losing Daenerys, and now the big characters are all the Targ players. So, see if we can go ahead and get these guys standing up. Yep, there we go. Interestingly enough, all the big characters are Lannister characters. Everybody wonders why Lannister is powerful. Or why Lannister is popular. They are powerful. Oof. I saw a little bit of what I think the card draw was there for Greyjoy. Just getting to King's Road, which I, I don't think he really needed. He is holding an Asha, I believe, which he will need. And I assume that's what's coming out right now. There we go, there's Asha. Alright. Probably his last, last big one. Uh, he may have Randy in this deck. Randy, of course, Randall Tarly, not a loyal card, actually. Plaza of Punishment coming out for Targ uh, when you win a power challenge. Neil Plaza to reduce the strength by two of another character. This is also Terminal Burn, so if it were to bring them to zero, they would die. Military with Asha, uh, stealthing Drogon. Uh, that does get unopposed, unopposed, so unopposed power, triggering the Great Kraken to gain one, and then standing Asha back up. That was a big Danny pull. Asha, of course, stands every time she wins an unopposed. That's why I believe she's a little bit better than Theon. I like the quick renown, gra renown grab for Theon, but uh, this is not quite the same. So you'll win that. All right. I'll take my two All right. Then I'll swing in with a power. Uh, nothing I can do about it. All right. Trigger All right. So then we have a power challenge come in with Asha after the intrigue challenge that is defended. So very, very excellent getting the intrigue challenge in there, uh, forcing him to oppose with Tyrion, and then getting an unopposed power challenge with Asha. So that'll be unopposed, a power stolen, and a power triggered from the Great Kraken. Military for nine. Military for nine. Should bring All him right. two away. Uh, we'll block with uh, Salty Navigator, and I'll. Well, I, oh, go ahead. Yeah, and I'm gonna pump him by three for five. So mm -hmm. military challenge coming uh, in so uh, on the Targ player's plane. side. Plane of B. five. Oh. Uh, defended with two navigator. and bumped to five. And Not really sure why the bump, to be honest. Entry. Alright, now we'll go through unopposed. Uh, Do you get an unopposed intrigue challenge here? Good call. Oh, and he's running a Sirio, so I've got Sirio Pharrell. Mm -hmm. Would have been right. nice to have. So both of them now sitting at 13. Very likely will be determined by who gets to go first here. So I, I, I tend to favor to favor Greyjoy based on that, but we'll see. So we have a Rise of the Kraken coming in. Extra power when winning unopposed, and a Wildfire on the Targ player side. I assume Wildfire was played just for high initiative here. There were other plots left, so just hoping it would be a tie or something of that nature. So we've got an Iron Fleet Scout coming in. Uh, when first player can be knelt to bump your strength by two. Uh, when second player only by one. 
And then a Milk of the Poppy comes out on Tyrion. Oh. So we see Reduce, Reduce, and Crown of Gold played on Asha. May still not matter, but hard to say here. And a Viserys coming out there again, so can be sacrificed again to. No, that crown of gold, I think, won it. Or something. Uh, Looking at the board, trying to decide if that crown of gold won it for him. And could we come in with the courtesan at two? And then bump it by three with Marge, or just come in. So, I'm going to swing it with the power. Yeah, so that's two. Could defend with. Yep, could defend with five. That should actually be. Two away, right? Goes with him. So I win power. Yeah. He's gonna gain one, lose one. Go fourteen to twelve. Yeah, can't be done. Well, yep, it's going first. Can't get an intrigue still though. Unless you have a trick, I think I got it. Yeah, I don't have a trick. Yeah. But for, you know, yeah, for yeah I, th I think he's got it. So Intrigue yeah. comes in here and he will oppose Lock. and win. Cool. And then military. Military will gain one and one. Military unopposed. will be unopposed. Renown. Renown. I'll kill someone, I'll kill. And he kills somebody. Courtesan. And then intrigue. unopposed intrigue. Oppose and win. and that'll be it. Really wow. That yeah. was that was a close game. I was like, Awesome. I, that was a luck pull of Very goals. fast. Yeah. Had a lot of lucky pulls on both sides. And both of the players long. played really well around them. And I think I should have... So I, I, I figured you were playing that. Mm -hmm. but I didn't. Maybe so if you would have done Rise of the Kraken earlier. Yeah. I thought, okay, well, I march. We both march. We're sitting with... As always, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will try to keep putting them out about one a week. Uh, maybe a little bit more if I have the time, but one a week's about the schedule I'm expecting. I uh, appreciate everybody watching, appreciate everybody that lets us video and do these commentary and looking for some co-commentators to spice things up a bit. You just don't have to just listen to me in the future. Anyway, thanks again and have a good one.